applause, backslapping, and especially congratulations were in order at Chile's presidential palace. The signing of the country's admission into the prestigious Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, a dream come true for the president. This is a grand recognition of how far we've come in 20 years of democracy. Chile is far from an economic powerhouse like Brazil. It's a modest-sized country with a modest-sized economy. But in 20 years, it has managed to reduce poverty from nearly 40 to 13 percent. Chile has also met OECD requirements for an open economy and good governance. Chile has combined a robust economy with growth and with social well-being for its people. The OACD is a forum for the world's most advanced economies to cooperate, to set policies and tackle common problems. It's often described as an elitist club because it's made up primarily of developed wealthy nations. Although Chile's admission, along with Estonia later this year, signal a shift towards more open and pluralistic membership. Some people call it the club of the rich, we call it the club of the good practices, of the best standards, and that's what we're targeting. Uh, how to be more efficient, how to be more transparent, how to serve uh, better our citizens in every area of our public policies. Chile is still a country with a huge gap between the rich and the majority of the working class, despite its admission into the OECD. This is recognition not just of Chile's political and economic stability, but especially of its free market and free trade policies. These are what the OECD considers crucial virtues, but they are precisely what many critics say are perpetuating social inequality and privilege for a small economic elite. Some even say Chile's OECD membership is tantamount to economic social climbing. And the way of changing is not joining the OECD and following this free market uh, ideology, but I insist building with our neighbors a, a, a stable, larger market. President Bachelet is the first to admit that Chile is not a rich nation. But she insists OECD membership will help speed up the day when this country can finally consider itself a fully developed nation.